Josie Schuler is a perfect homemaker, wife, and mother. But she's also a ruthless, efficient killer. She balances cheerful domestic bliss with coldly performed assassinations. But when Josie finds herself in the crosshairs, her American dream life is in danger. Go ahead. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we're talking Lady Killer from Dark Horse Volume 1. This is a wholesome, action-packed thriller that is light on its feet, but it's really good when it counts. Lady Killer, she's this trained assassin, but she poses as a regular 60s housewife with family and everything whom she really does appreciate and love and all that stuff it's it's genuine and she makes a living being an assassin and she doesn't mix the two professions into one until uh this case comes along where her superiors are asking you know can she really uh perform all these great things without uh wanting that simple housewife life getting in the way and that is sort of the main conflict of this book of course is typical with stories like this uh the hit goes wrong and they send people after her and all that stuff it's nothing new it's nothing that we've never seen but where the series succeeds is in its humor in its imagery and the fantastic art combining the artistry of joelle jones and jamie s rich you get something really vibrant dynamic it's snappy it's quick it's it, it's a very light read and it reads more like a storyboard action piece like this would be something i would see in cinemas made by uh, uh let's say like edgar wright with tarantino-esque flair stuff like that where the humor is in the actions that these characters are taking and doing of course mirroring the era of the early 60s with that wholesome family image and that uh propaganda of uh you know the wife needs everything at home so she can raise the kids and stuff and like she can't do this or that but the series has fun with that and joelle is able to craft a really interesting story with great fun characters again it's nothing over the top and spectacular but where it does count it does a really good job at it especially when it comes to uh the action scenes which are really vivid dynamic fun to look at just really awesome stuff just the idea of this trained assassin posing as this uh housewife and mother and then on the sideline she's killing people left and right what's not to love right if you want to have a fun time of course with the um little psa here if you don't mind getting a little bit uh, gratuitous with your violence and your uh blood splatter and graphic uh imagery then you're gonna have a fun time if that's not your thing then maybe you don't want to read lady killer i don't know i'll leave that up to you what's really cool and i haven't read volume two so i, I and i do know that the story escalates further but what was really cool about this volume is the fact that it plays sort of into that whole uh, espionage paranoia era of the uh, late 50s early 60s that time frame which is really good for any movie or story because it was a time of transition and change from a previous lifestyle into what has evolved into our lifestyle if that makes any sense like i mentioned the art is probably one of the biggest selling points here because the story like i mentioned it is a little bit redundant it's a little uh cliched if you're into this sort of genre but the art in it is just beautiful spectacular look at this get some more of you get some more of that you know the art in this book is pretty fun it's sensual and sexy and plays with the tropes pretty well it uh knows what it's doing in the way that it represents female empowerment with a male driven society from the 60s and i think joelle does a rich job of uh, highlighting our main protagonist and how uh different she is from the rest of the culture and the characters and all that stuff i thought it was pretty cool so yeah it's stuff like this it's violence like that which is tastefully done might i 
ad. Yes, it is a little bit uh, gross and, and grotesque, but it's stylish, just like the rest of the series. And Joelle really did her research, same with Jamie, and they pulled off a rich-looking world that straight up looks like it came out of the early 60s. Ad is really commendable and one of the strongest suits when it comes to Lady Killer, in my opinion. So if again, if you want to have a fun time with some action-packed uh, story about this kick-ass assassin doing her thing and just being a badass overall, then uh, yeah, look into Lady Killer Volume 1. I highly recommend it if you want to have some fun. Guys, as always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing down below here at A Week in Geekdom. You can follow me on your favorite social media platform, and I'm probably there for you. Alright, I have got to go, but before I do, let me know down below which is your favorite assassin-themed comic book. I'm very interested in knowing. Alright, I'll catch all of you on our next video.